I'm Jambo Watu. Uh, you know, today is a very difficult moment for me because I always pretend to know Swahili. But when it's comedy, everyone is laughing. Uh, even Bongo Zozo is laughing. And I'm sitting there and. <laughs> Are you laughing? Okay. <laughs> ah, he's good, yeah? <laughs> okay, anyway. So, uh, I came here to say the truth. I want to tell you the truth. Everyone is asking me what I'm doing in Tanzania. Uh, well, I'm uh, from a poor European family. Uh, and uh, we have a house, and the house is falling down. And we need money. So, my mother told me, get money. I said, okay, I'll get an idea. Okay. The next day I woke up, and I got an idea. I'll get married to a rich woman. Yeah. That's very normal, I think. And uh, so I said, okay, but where can I get a rich woman? Because in my country, everyone knows me. They watch your children, man. So, I was like, okay. So I opened TV, and I heard about this country, rich country full of gold, full of Tanzanites, full of, <laughs> full of gas. <laughs> so I was like, Rich country, rich people, rich people, rich ladies, of course. So I asked my friends, I collected money for her tickets, and I came here. So in the taxi I asked for the richest quarter, and they brought me here to Masaki. I said, this is the place where the rich women are. I said, wow. So I chose the first place to go, the bar. I don't know, I don't remember the name, but it was something like Fish Fish or something like that. So, so I went inside and I, I was looking for the rich ladies. Believe me or not, there were so many single ladies sitting, sitting separate. I was watching them, they still played with the phones. I was like, they must be very busy. You know, this must be single managers who are busy to make money, right? There are some companies. <laughs> See, I'm not stupid. <laughs> and, you know, and when I look closer, I saw they have these expensive phones. I said, so, cannot be a mistake. These ladies are what I'm looking for. So I chose one. I came there and I said, hello, uh, I am Victor. I am from Europe and I want to get married here. Do you know anyone? Me, 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 me. <laughs> it, was, it was a very clear case because I saw, okay, this woman is busy. She has few companies managing them on the phone, sitting alone, she doesn't know men, she doesn't know anyone, so she's she's happy to meet finally a real guy, you know, not someone on, 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 on some social media. So, I, I said, okay, so I said, so uh, I like you, so what if we go out? And she looked at me and she said, why don't you want to come in? <laughs> come in hotel, yeah? And she said, yeah, hotel, good idea. I said, perfect, we can go to hotel. Uh, I said, which hotel? You choose. So, so the girl chose a five-star hotel. <laughs> okay, I said, okay, I don't have any money, but she's rich, so. <laughs> it cannot be an issue, right? So, we came to this hotel. I tell you the truth, we had a lot of fun that night. We were watching Wasafi TV tomorrow. <laughs> and Safari Channel. And in the morning, you know, I wanted to leave. Uh, I didn't know what will happen. And she said, why don't you stay whole week in this hotel? I said, wow. <laughs> you know, the previous night I stayed in Bagala and I was drinking Konyagi. And now she's five-star hotel. I said, wow, 
I chose the right woman for me, you know. <laughs> and the house needs repairs. I said, okay, I can stay here, I don't mind if you insist. She said, I insist. I said, okay. And uh, when will I see you? She said, I'll be coming a whole week. Okay, sometimes she came, sometimes she didn't come. Sometimes she came and she was a little strange or tired or so, but anyway, you know, when you decide to get married, you don't look at these details. You have your time. And me, I was mainly after money, so what? So the whole week was very silent, and then one day I woke up uh, sober, almost, and, uh, and uh, I looked at the date, I said, oh, I have to go to the plane. So, Oh, where is she? She's not around. So I was calling her. <clears throat> I said, hello, baby. Hello, baby. I said, you know, there is the bill of the hotel. And uh, peep, 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 peep. <sighs> My God, think of fail. I called again. Hello, baby. Peep, 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 peep. <laughs> now it's time to pay the bill and she's not around. What the hell is going on? So, um, okay. I remembered my mom in the broken house in Europe. So I called my mom and said, Mama, I have good news. She said, what is it? I have a rich woman who will marry me. She has a lot of money. She has iPhone 25 Max Pro and she will cover all our expenses. My mom said, I know you're a smart boy. I'm so happy for you. I said, okay, but there is a small problem. I have to pay the bill. Mama said, okay, so how much is it? I said, uh, it's only $10,000. <sighs> so my mom sold the last car we had, sent me the money, I got ticket back home, and since then I was trying to reach my fiancé. But uh, believe me or not, even if I call on, call on Skype, the phone is off. I'm afraid that some bastard stole their phone. <laughs> so when my mother came and she said that now we need to fix the house. I said, okay, give me money for a ticket. I go find a personnel. So, if you go to any place in Masaki, you see a lonely, beautiful girl with Max Pro 25 iPhone, whatever. She's probably looking for me. So please tell her I am here and that's why I'm here. Thank you very much.